The first 24 hours, we didn't actually see the cub um, on the teat. We didn't see it suckling. There's only a couple of days, really, that a cub can go without feeding. If it doesn't get the food, it's going to start to rapidly lose weight and die. We were just, you know, <laughs> it's always a relief when you see an animal suckling for the first time. The queen of fake pregnancies is a natural, and her cub is thriving. It's growing really fast. We've got the whole thing on camera, which is also quite a rare opportunity to see the fur develop. Like we can see the sun crescent marking on its chest really nicely now. This is little Kyra, and she's our first ever sun bear cub. I had a bit of a moment, you know, when you just go, oh my god, there's the cub. I've seen pictures of sun bear babies before, but it's never the same as seeing one for real. And we're so proud, because look at her, she's adorable. It's so nice to actually see her in the flesh. Sun bears climb high into the rainforest canopy to steal birds' eggs and evade predators. She's going to need to learn to climb almost as soon as she can walk because in the wild, the cubs would go up a tree to get away from any danger. She's still learning, so she is going to have falls and tumbles and things. Go on then, out you go. You can see Kyra's really like gone back to her mum for some security and. Millie is prone to pause off parenting. But today, mother gently guides daughter into the big wide world. She's never seen the sky before. She's never experienced rain, grass. She's got a lot of um, bushes and other things out there to play with, so it'll be interesting to see how much destruction she causes. It might not, not look as pretty as this in a week's time. The outdoor paddock is full of new experiences, but not without hazards. For a little cub who loves to climb, the potential for trouble has risen dramatically. The trees out here are so big, um, there's much further to fall and out here we've got rocks and all sorts of things. She is still vulnerable in that sense that um, she could do herself an injury if we're not careful. Fingers crossed. Kyra starts back down, but seems to be struggling. I don't know whether she was stuck up there or what. If a bear cub cries, mum should go running. You just gotta kinda hope that the mothering instinct will kick in. Millie's hopefully tried to encourage her to come down. 
Millie didn't actually touch Kyra, but bears use a lot of body language. It's one of their main ways of communicating. So it's possible that Millie just gave her a look or made a little noise or, or did something and it encouraged Kyra to, to come back down to a, a safe level. She'll soon learn, won't she? <laughs> she will. <laughs>